Hey guys, welcome to another SL1 boss guide. So in this one, we're going to be taking on Aldrich. So here's the character, SL1 deprived. And right now, this is how I have him. Deep ring, prisoner's chain, priestess ring, dusk crown ring. So the reason you have these on is that then you can cast Tears of Denial. So with that cast, then you switch over to life ring. Lloyd's Sword, and Lloyd's Shield, and Heal Up, and Tears is still active. So we're using a Raw Broadsword 10, a Grass Crest Shield. Alright, so Aldrich is a pretty RNG dependent boss, so hopefully we have a easy, good run. Thanks for watching. All right, when the fight starts, you're going to be at less than full health because of the... So just ember up or heal at the start. And arrows are already out. Luckily, Aldrich has a pretty slow recovery after he attacks. After he first warps away, then you can use uh, a bundle, he's weak to lightning, and just wait for him to see what he's going to do. So he's going to do arrows, alright, the little magic balls. The little magic balls don't do a ton of damage, but they add up very quickly. And they'll stick around after he warps. Thank god for tears. That just saved my life right there. Arrows. So these last a lot longer when he's in phase two. Which is why the Grass Crest Shield is... Very recommended. Okay. You can roll through the life hunt scythe. And you can still attack now. Oh, didn't work there, but you can still Arrows. Okay. Let's just circle around. Edge up closer to him. Okay. So stay at full health, and now we'll go in. I think we got it. And that's it. Aldrich is hard to make a sort of guide for because it's kind of all over the place. Super RNG dependent, but... Okay, so cutscene. All right. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.